Can we use Material UI to make a pie chart? It sure looks like it. I see Material UI styling over here in these list items, and we'll dive in and learn more about how a third-party library called Dev Extreme Reactive um, gives us the ability to kind of merge Material UI and D3 to make some pretty good charts. Today we're going to dive into a third-party charting library that combines D3, which is pretty common and popular charting library, with Material UI. So the material, material UI components are actually used to create kind of the peripheral aspects of the chart, such as the legend, and um, the third-party library called um, Dev Express or Dev Extreme React. You may have you may see either one. Um, it requires it has three requirements, uh, three dependencies for us to be able to use it to make a pretty simple pie chart. So I'll dive in. The code uh, really doesn't get that complex in terms of the props, and you can see I've already got some setup done. So I'll dive into the code and get the chart working, and then I'll actually review the documentation a little bit uh, for DevExtreme. And um, with that said, let's just go ahead and get our, our chart here uh, functioning. And let's tell it what our data is. Our data is this chart data up here. So let's just feed that in there. And we'll see pretty quickly how easy it is to just get a simple chart working. Okay, let's see if we're running here. No, it looks like uh, nothing, nothing is showing yet. So let's keep on going here. So what do we need for our chart to work? We've got our data plugged in. So the next thing that we need is we've got to give it the pi series. So there's a couple props that we care about here. Um, what we're saying is we've got this data up here, uh, it's states and it's votes for which one is a person's favorite. So we've got to tell it for our pie chart here. Um, we're kind of sort of giving the axes, like if it was a line chart, it'd be the x and y axes. But in this case, it's the value field and the, and the argument field. So let's see what, what we're at now. So there we go, we've already got a basic chart on here. No labels, no legend, nothing like that. Uh, but you can see that it really only takes a little bit to get going with a pie chart using DevExtreme. So next thing that we'll want is to get a title in there. We've got our favorite state title there. Let's make sure that's appearing properly. This takes a moment to uh, come on up. There we go, we've got our title in place. So, um, another piece that we might want is we might want to add in some animation here. And the animation um, doesn't even need any props. It's pretty straightforward, so that's pretty cool. Um, so the last thing that we need to get that pie chart that I showed in the beginning of this video is we'll just need a legend. And as simple as that, as simple as that, we've already got a functioning pie chart that I showed in the very beginning. However, um, there's some important things that I want to dive into in case anyone's looking at using DevExtreme Reactive to do to make some pie charts. Um, one cool thing is that it's actually linked to in the Material UI docs as kind of a third party of Note, uh, or a third party that's been doing a great job with using Material UI and supplementing it. And um, here's, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, here's how they're using Material UI. There, it's not really, there's nothing in this pie chart that's material UI based. However, we've got these list items over here in our legend, and um, and it's, it's sitting on a paper component, but that's something that I added. Um, but really, it's kind of the, the basics that you'd expect that it's using material UI for. Some of the drawbacks that I noticed 
Um, let's look at the pie chart here. If we look at the source code, it's like it hasn't been updated in a while. It's still using um, syntax. It's a little hard to tell here, but if you dive into the sandbox example, then it's still using old React syntax before React hooks was being used. So um, that means that if you want to use it, you have to update a lot of the documentation on your own or update a lot of the examples to use them properly in your code. Um, it wasn't too big a deal with this. As you can see, I didn't really even need hooks here at all, but depending on what your needs are, then uh, that might be a problem. More importantly, I actually found it pretty difficult to get some examples that um, gave me what I needed. For example, like this is their pie chart example. Um, there's no legend in it. There's no labels on any of these slices. Really a little bit more bare bones than, than we want. There's no hover action. And so I made a pretty simple app here with legend, but honestly, like I didn't find any examples of props that would let me add hover or add titles labels right on top of these pie slices. I'm not saying it can't be done, I'm just saying that me doing some research, I wasn't able to find it. So my point with all that is that Dev Extreme Reactive, um, it's got some strong points and what I would say are some pretty significant weak points. So I didn't, I'm obviously not diving into line charts too much on this video, but they, their, their line charts did look a lot slicker, a lot more, um, a lot more options and so on. So um, it may just be kind of case by case with what kind of chart you want.